Hello, beautiful diamonds of light. It's your girl, Diamond of Light. And I'm up here with an intuitive energy reading for the mind, body, soul, and spirit. I speak all as well with each and every one of you all. Today is December the 2nd, 2022. But I don't know what's going on with my light. And it doesn't seem like it's a little dim tonight. But you know, it's all good. Hey, hit that light over there for me, Nuke. Which one? The big one. See how I do yeah, I'm like, well, let's work with that, y'all. Like, Lisa's, you know what I'm saying? You can see me. Things feel a little more calm. You know, so let's just calm the energies a little bit. You know what I'm saying? It's a little late. It's a little late. But your girl is here for it. Um, huh, how has my day been? My day been okay, you know? Get my fiance hair today and twisted the roots of his locks. And, you know, just been enjoying the day. Just being grateful for a lot of things, y'all. I got a new desk. My baby got me a desk. Yeah, I was using our dining room table, but it was really big. And, yeah, he set up this corner for me and got me a desk. And it got my little cubbies and my beautiful space. So, I'm very grateful for that. Um, he loves me, okay? No matter what other people try to do to put little illusion spells up to make me think otherwise, I, I can tap in. Remember, always answer your questions. Even as readers, right? We have to look more into the, 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 the readings, more into the cards, more into our information because of the story the plot thickens right the story gets deeper okay so you can get information but dig further into the information because a lot of people out here trying to do illusion spells and mess with your divinations and stuff like that to get you to not even that your cards are coming out wrong because the message be a message but they're trying to block your third eye and your crown and they're trying to cause you confusion and make you see things, putting these illusions up and trying to make you see things other than what you proceed to read. Like read into things that are not associated with what is true because they want you to see things in a certain perspective to cloud your judgments. Uh, so like I said, cause you to be have illusions. That's part of it. But you know, I always answer those questions too. You know, when in doubt, you know, allow source creator just to, as long as you're in your high heart and high mind, know that source creator gonna work things out divinely as they should regardless, you know what I'm saying? Um, cause favor ain't fair, so they say. But I feel like favor is fair because my thing is, if you have favor, that means you was fair. So favor is fair because you've been fair to earn and deserve and collect that favor from source creator God, you know what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> you know, we gotta be you know, mindful of the, the the words that we perceive and things we think, right? We got to start thinking differently. We, we got to start looking at things from a whole nother perspective, like the full spectrum of things, right? Because these words and, the, and all this stuff is trickery, especially the English language. There's so many words that means the same thing, sound the same way, spelled different, different definitions, and they all spelling and spells, right? So that's what words are. That's why you gotta tap into your ancient, um, your ancient, your ancient language, your ancient tongue. Excuse me, y'all. Skin peeling. You gotta tap into your ancient tongue, your ancient, you know, ancestral, you know, dialect. You know what I'm saying? It's deep within you. And you, trust me, you'll be able to uh, comprehend what it's saying because it intuitively, innately, and in your consciousness will pick pick on up on what you're speaking. Okay. So you just gotta. Trust, trust your guidance. Trust it, trust it, trust it, trust it. Trust in your intuitions too, because even though, like I say, question your answers and you know, but trust your intuition at the same time. If you keep getting some of the same stuff showing up over and over again, that spirit is always trying to tell you something. Don't doubt it when you keep get synchronicity, okay? But make sure you read into things a little farther because, like I say, the plot can always thicken. <clears throat> Y'all, I don't know. I just... Life has its, you know, expressions of 
you know, sometimes I think, you know, we can get so overwhelmed with our circumstances and situations, especially when we constantly, you know, tapped in and in these in these times right here i'm not gonna lie like you better be tapped in like this is the most important time to be tapped in this is the most important time to comprehend what is going on innately within you and externally around you yo this is the, the most important time to use your intuition your your spiritual guidance within you soul source guidance the most important I will say, you know, maybe you, we overdoing it or, or look into it too much. Maybe we need to lay up off of it, give it a break, but not really because that's what they want you to do. They want you to take your foot off the pedal, the gas pedal. They want you to leave it alone. They want you to put it to the side. They want you to not think about it too much because you're figuring too much shit out. Don't do that. Don't listen to other people trying to tell you to, you know, give it a break. They want you to give it a break because shit is coming to the forefront. Now, you keep putting the pressure on. You keep pushing the pedal to the metal. You keep tapping into your intuition. Because when you give it a break, that's when you can get bamboozled. Don't give, you're not doing too much. Don't feel like you need to lay off the spirituality for a little while. For one thing, it needs to become your lifestyle by using your intuition and your, your innate guidance. Okay? You need to be able to have that on fleet 24-7. They need to become your super fucking powers. You need to be able to use your powers at will. At the drop of a fucking dime. Okay? So if you take a break from practicing your abilities, then what is that doing? That's weakening you. That's dampening you. So people might try to lure you to tell you you're doing too much to back off. You know, let it go. Give it a break. Don't. That's just because you unfolding shit. You figuring shit out. And people know your shit on point too. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't, don't do that. <clears throat> and and that's that's my that's just that's me. That's me telling myself that. You know what I'm saying? You know, go within your own discernment. Use your own discernment for you. Maybe some people feel like they need a break. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I mean, go 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 ask your daddy when they heat the remote control it. Right oh, that motherfucker get hot. Right here. All right, you you ain't got a shower now, baby. You warm enough? Okay, you good? Mm -hmm. Where your socks? I don't need socks. I know you don't. You don't need socks. Oh, damn, it's not working from over there. I can't. I'm gonna fuck. Damn, I'm trying to get this off. Don't turn it too cold, though. Girl, I ain't even got it cold. I'm cutting it off. It's, it's pretty, plenty of hot up in here. A uh, Sahara. But, um, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Listen to your intuition. Um, don't let up off your, your gifts, your abilities, y'all. I'm working on my latest painting, y'all. I'm excited about this. You know what I'm saying? Um, I did a sketch on, you know, a good bit of it. Some of it last night. I still got more that's, you know, streamed through. Then I have to work on another piece and see if anything else come through to add to it. But I'm very, like, I was giving this so, so clearly about to draw and sketch and paint this so i'm excited oh, i'm not going to give it away um but yeah just know that your girl is working on another piece you know what I'm saying? I, I love art so um yeah look forward to that in the near future um yeah it's just you know keep on working on your craft keep on working on your abilities Keep on using your intuitive guidance, you know what I'm saying? Keep on being you authentically, no matter if people are uncomfortable with you or not. Because you being authentically you is what makes you happy. That what brings you balance. That what brings you self-love and dedication, okay? If people don't want, if people express you to be anything other than that, then they're trying to throw you off your game. Period, point blank. And tell them birds to go fly somewhere. Okay. But y'all know what time it is. <clears throat> Let's see what we got going on. Let's see what we got going on. on, on. Mm. Let's see what we got going on. Beautiful diamonds of light. Energy Oracle deck. What is the store for the beautiful diamonds of light to collect? And what do we intuitively... Energetically need to know December the second, twenty twenty two. We thank you for divine truth and clarity. Woo.
I'm getting smooth operator. Smooth operator. Oh. <clears throat> All right. Come on. Let me see if anything comes through while I'm shuffling the car, y'all. Take one. I'm gonna say this soul right here. No, I ain't gonna do that. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna shuffle. That fell, but I don't, I don't wanna take that. I wanna follow I'm shuffling. I could have took it, but if it's meant to come back out, it'll come back around. Alright, so what you got to say? So Ooh, that one flew. Somebody envious. Saw this envy got down went flying. They better get rid of that shit. <laughs> and it's gonna be flying away with that envy. Get, get flown the fuck up on up right out of my body there. All right, beautiful goddess power over there. What is in store for the beautiful dimes I like to collect? What do we intuitively get that we need to know for the mind, body, soul, and the spirit? We thank you for the body, truth, and clarity. <clears throat> Now we coming up on this winter solstice, yo. Hey, oh, I wonder. You know what? I'm so, I'm so curious. I mean, I really ain't checked to see, but I'm so curious of what the new year is gonna bring. I know it's a lot of good things gonna happen for a lot of a lot of people. I'm gonna say that right now. I know some people gonna have some big breaks. That's for dang sure. But you know, some people, you know, their time is gonna be up uh, on everything. Yeah, the stupidity. Some people are just gonna be <laughs> living their life to to the fullest. Like dreams are really gonna be coming true, spirit. But you know, storm answer that. What is in store for the beautiful dimes of light to collect? What do we intuitively energetically need to know for the mind, body, soul, and spirit? Truth and clarity. A lot of people gonna have a lot of new beginnings. That's for sure. <clears throat> December, December the second, twenty twenty two. You know, I know one thing. Twenty twenty three is when a lot of these karmas gonna be paying up their debt. Hmm. For real, for real. Y'all, last night I was in my y'all kid you not. It was late. I don't know. It's probably two or three o'clock in the morning. I don't know what time it, it could have been four o'clock in the morning to be honest. But I was laying there and in my and not out, it wasn't coming from outside, it was just in my head. I mean, I heard sirens going off. Just I just heard sirens going off, y'all. And then spirit was like, somebody get locked up right now. It's a big bus taking place. Somebody is going down. One of the karmics is going to jail. Somebody got locked up last night. I don't know who, but something major happened last night. Well, I'm talking about it was it was a swarm of police. I mean, it just kept going and kept going. And then um I was like, Spirit, is somebody get locked up? And then Spirit was like, Yeah, and then as I was doing that, body, oh, dang on my left ear rang rang real loud to, loud to clarify. I'm like, somebody either getting locked went went to jail today. I got was getting locked up at the time, or about to go down. Somebody, somebody going to jail. This about to be a big bus, spirit say. I'm like, that's not coming from outside. It, it, it was just loud in my in my head. Like that's how clear it was, though. But the sirens was there. You would think it was right outside my window. Spirit. Yeah. All right, now I gotta make my little table work. My other table was wild, like I said, with my kitchen table. This is a little narrow, but I'm gonna make it work. It's long though, but you know, I got my columns. 
Beautiful magical dimensional oracle and activation deck. What is in store for the beautiful diamond light collector? What do we have to it? The energy that let me know for the mind, body, soul, and spirit. So somebody definitely got locked up today. I'm going to get locked up. A uh, big bus about to take place. Something going down, huh? Somebody ain't getting away with something. I'm getting murdered. Spirit said somebody ain't getting away with murder. Murder she wrote. I'm getting a bounty for to be on some people. Some people here is just trying to run dead or alive. The bounty is going to be on somebody's head. Some people are about to be on somebody or some people are about to become fugitives. Somebody. <clears throat> some of these people be taking stuff too far when they think, you know, they don't think shit going to catch up with them. But who? I'm getting somebody sharing from. For the beautiful dogs of life to collect what do we intuitively energetically need to know for the mind body spirit we're going to divide the truth and clarity yeah my back is hurting from one out of that my back really hurt right now but i'll be all right i'm here for needs to be up right but we'll see if i gotta turn them up right when i get them that's what i'm gonna do all right okay we got the spirit of animal oracle okay what is the store for the beautiful items i like to collect what do we intuitively energetically need to know for the mind body soul spirit thanks for divine truth and clarity decent second punishment too My, something flipped over here, I think twice. I got my specs on deck, yeah. Okay. Body. So. Okay, one came out of spirit. Ruins Tarot Oracle Day. What is the store for the beautiful diamonds of light to collect? What do we intuitively energetically need to know for the mind, body, soul, and spirit? We thank you for the mind, truth, and clarity. I'm getting pleased. So sorry, so sorry. Mm. Cause something falling apart for somebody. I don't want to take all those, but you know what? Fuck it. 
Let's go. Because if it's falling apart from it must be in the body column. My body. Your body. Baby. Long, long, one and no more. <laughs> All right, and spirit. Okay. Unless y'all the Capra Fortune that beautiful Capra Fortune that was in store for the beautiful diamonds alike to come to the world to win to it to be any way to lose no for the mind, body, soul, and spirit. The beautiful diamonds are the collective. Thank you for the value of peace and clarity. December 22nd, 2022. <clears throat> now, this is actually my second video. The first one, I just didn't, it wasn't good clarity on it. So I was like, no, I don't want to post that one because, you know, there was some illusion stuff going on. And I've seen it for that it was. And <clears throat> I always take these up for... All my last four decks, I turn kind the of cards up right for clarity, okay? I don't put them in reverse. That's my spirit guides me to do it anyway. And I need it from their spirit. Okay. Make sure that's it. And y'all, I don't know what time it is. All right, let's get into it. Mm. For the mind, we have spirit, daughter spirit in reverse. Confirmation that spirit ain't supporting something there. Sounds like is spirit not supporting something. I have a little burp. Okay, we got uh, goddess Artemis, focus upright. We got spider woman, co-creation upright. And we got Gula, healing upright, okay? We have the prince. A sword, I mean, prince of, prince of wands in reverse, okay? We have breakthrough right here, leap of faith, freedom, freedom, new beginning. We have heart portal, receptivity, generosity, and mistrust in here. We have exile, illusion, separation, disconnect, isolation here. We have root portal here, vitality, stability, and survivor, fearful here. We got the sacred portal here, creativity, intimacy, and ambition here, okay? Then I'm going to go ahead and read these Lemurian ones. We got Trust Your Innocence here. Third Eye Chakra here. Radical Expansion. Ethereal here. And Water here. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. So the, the Daughter Spirit... It's not <clears throat> it's close to whoever in this king a um, prince of wands energy okay whoever in this prince of wands energy the daughter spirit is close to them because they got healing to do okay they're all in their root here um they're disconnected here let me do some let's see here y'all know i always try to get a little all right, here we go, right to it. The magic, the magical, right? Of course, they're, they're obviously here, I'm getting like with the magical all off the rip, like the daughter spirit is not supporting magic that this Prince of Wands doing, okay? It's in reverse, and in reverse is the magical synchronicity and major energy of the Prince has disappeared. His magic has disappeared. I'm got I'm getting he ain't got the magic stick. Okay? So um Okay, it's, it's saying let's start over against that the magical synchronicity and major energies of the prince has disappeared and been replaced by restlessness, anxiety, and a serious depletion of energy. The natural high you know what I'm saying? He don't have the natural natural high anymore. Other prince has turned low. So he's vibrating frequently and low. Like he's very low in his frequencies. I said this, he's in his root here. You know what I'm saying? Right here with intimacy. 
something going on with the magic wand. You know what I'm saying? This ain't so magical no more, okay? Focus on re rest, relaxation, fitness, and nourishing diet, creating a space to plan and properly illuminate your ideas without decent fuel, earth, physical, and air thought, okay? So this can have something related to our earth and air sign here. Um, Your flame will be extinguished. So... Somebody's flame is extinguished. Somebody's out of luck, basically. Somebody's down on their luck. Somebody's down on their energy. Somebody is all in their emotions. Somebody is fearful. Somebody is in survival mode. Um, somebody vitality. I'm gonna let health is plummeting as well. Um, they just like I say, intimacy here is not doing a good job. Like they're healing. Like they. They need to heal, okay? Something to do about the spider woman here in co-creation. So somebody focused on whoever this Prince of Wands energy is, he's focused on something to do with something that's uh, co-creating, something to do with the spider woman So uh, that's in this nigga. That's who got him in this. Okay, so this woman, this spider woman got this Prince of Wands caught in her will. Okay, maybe she's doing some type of energy work on him to cause the magic wand to be not so magical, maybe, or to cause his frequencies to be low, to cause him to have these health issues, to cause him like it's some 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 reason why he's not healing. Okay, um, it could be something to do with something to do with intimacy here, but this spider woman is very focused on you know, causing this Prince of Wands to be in this lower, this lower vibrations, this lower energy, you know what I'm saying? Like, just losing himself. Like, he's being drained by her, I'm getting, okay? Um, this energy is very disconnected here. Um, needs to heal his heart, okay? Needs to be free from this web that it's in. Needs to be free. Somebody's gonna get X out here. Somebody is, it's gonna... Somebody is trying to cause illusions of separation right here. This <laughs> Prince of Wands energy is very isolated within their well-being. Like emotionally, they are in a rut here. Like they are really dealing with some heavy burdens I'm getting, okay? And it's like they keep, you know, praying to spirit. They keep praying to source, you know what I'm saying, about helping them out of situations. Um that they put themselves in, you know, because they was focusing on, they were so focused too on trapping somebody. Maybe this Prince of Wands was focusing on trapping this female, okay? But regardless, let me go over here. Okay, we already read that. We got Moose Hill Wisdom. The black bear guardian here. We got hum Manez, okay? Humanity, okay? Um, symbolizing individuality, friendship, society, corporation, and help. We have water. See, we got water here twice. So this can have something to do with a water sign, okay? Um, flow, emotions, or just somebody in a lot of emotional you like turmoil, okay? All their hopes and fears, like their their hopes are falling and all their fears, their fears are overtaking their hopes, okay? Um, it's a lot going on with this person. I'm getting this main male and a privileged lady here. Okay, I told you it's it's um this privileged lady here. And this main male, they could be the ones that had something to do with what I'm seeing was the police locking them up, okay? It could be. But I'm also getting, remember when I said, like, the reason why he's dealing with his issues is because of her. It's this, this privileged lady, it's either, he's the Prince of Wands, right, in reverse. And the reason why he's having all these issues is because of her. official person. I said something about getting locked up. 
in a courthouse here. So official person is here in a courthouse with this privileged lady in this main male. So Ooh, somebody's innocent here, okay? I'm getting the main male is innocent. It's going to be something coming something coming clear about this, like a radical expansion about this. Um, because the, the ethers, like, yeah, somebody's... They got themselves into some mess here, this couple. They got themselves into some mess here, honey. Guardian. Somebody somebody didn't use their wisdom. Guardian. Okay, this could be a mother and a son here. Ooh, that's in trouble with the law. Or... Y'all, let me, let me read more into this because this is kind of like, hmm, you know what I'm saying? Hey. But somebody's, somebody's been doing some dirty shit. Somebody's definitely got somebody caught in something. Somebody's got somebody caught in something and they, they trying to set somebody up and they set somebody up. But let's go see. Yeah, somebody set somebody up here. Deceit. You got deceit here. But like I say, some new beginnings is about to happen for somebody. Maybe. Let's keep going. Okay, so you got deceit up right here. Anxiety in reverse. The daughter value heat up right here. And community in reverse. Okay. We got radical acceptance. Freya up right here in AL Street. New beginnings here. Maybe this water sign. It's the female, the privileged lady, and maybe, maybe like I said, this pri this privileged lady and this main male could be a couple, okay? And they're in trouble with something to do with the courthouse and the officials. They got themselves tangled up into some trying to trap somebody, trying to stop somebody, okay? So they tried to stop somebody. This privilege and this main male tried to stop somebody from having a new beginning. Thank you, Spirit. Mm -mm. So, okay, let's keep going here. We say deceit upright, daughter value upright. Okay, anxiety in reverse, the community in reverse. We got Freya and radical acceptance upright and new beginnings upright. We got the high priestess, okay? Up right here. So this could be a high priestess that they tried to trap. This could be a high priestess that they try to catch up in their web. This is gonna be a high priestess that they try to have exiled. Hmm, transform. I'm getting this high priestess could be the water sign here. I don't know. Maybe they could be two water signs. But water is very heavy in this. We got uh adventure, innocent. So Whoever this high priestess is, is very innocent. Because we got innocent twice here. twice here. So high priestess, trust your innocent. These people has been trying to do things to get you caught up into this well, okay? Been trying to do things to disconnect you, have you exiled for some reason, okay? Adventure, innocent, play, discovery here. Destiny, divine purpose, passion, service here. One is balanced, patience, divine masculine here. Okay, so we got the privileged lady and the divine masculine, the, the, the main male here, that could be the divine masculine. Okay, maybe somebody was trying to trap the privileged lady and the divine masculine because the privileged lady could be the high priestess here, right? And the main male could be the divine masculine. Maybe somebody tried to have them tangled up in some type of well. But I'm going to keep going because um, we got Starseed Elemental. We got Reclaim Your Energy here. 
We got balanced forces here. We got the portal keeper here, okay? And then I'm, I'm going to go from there because this definitely to do with something to do with lovers here. So, okay. Something to do with lovers. So, this community here was trying to deceive somebody. Deceive the high priestess. All right. This community was trying to deceive the high priestess. Uh, from getting this door to value, right? Was trying to cause anxiety to take place for somewhere. Trap you in the web. Trying to try to have you locked up, I'm getting. They try to fuck around and get you locked up. They won't let you out. So somebody lied on you. High priestess. Somebody lied on the divine feminine. Somebody lied on somebody. Somebody tried to get somebody caught in the web, try to tangle them up, try to get them locked up, try to have the officials involved in something to do with the courthouse, try to have some paper served on them, told some lies, basically. So some lies was being told on somebody. Um, maybe they said the community lied and said, you stole this money I'm getting of some sort. You had something to do with this money or taking this money or something to do with this door to value here. But they was definitely deceiving. Some deceiving somebody, okay? But we got a new be a beginning here with radical acceptance. So with this new beginning, the high priestess, you're going to have a new beginning. You and your divine masculine, okay? So, like I said, I feel like this over here is this two couples right here is the divine, the high priestess, which is the divine feminine, and the main male, the divine masculine, because here it is here, the divine masculine and the high priestess here. And then we got the lovers here, too, at the bottom of this deck, right? We have the lovers here. So... Maybe these lovers deceive somebody. Maybe these lovers, like I say, go on to court. But I'm getting that this is something that they did to a high priestess. Or maybe they got a high priestess involved or some, some shit. No, they, didn't, they did something. They tried to do something to a high priestess. And you already know about this probably. If you're a high priestess, you already know. But some balance is being bought here because whatever they try to do here, you're innocent, you know what I'm saying? And you're about to go on your adventure. They couldn't stop whatever your daughter value was that they were trying to deceive this community, try to deceive you with and cause you to be in anxiety because they didn't want you to get this value of some sort. But once again, you're innocent. You're innocent. You're destined. You have a divine purpose, okay? Because uh, you're a divine being, high priestess. And these people was trying to trap you in this web. They was focused on trapping you. Okay? They wanted you to be low vibrational. They wanted you to be, you know, in this trap energy. They wanted you to be exiled. Maybe they wanted you to transform here. It could have been. But they wanted you to be disconnected from something, isolated from something. They didn't want you to know something. They was trying to stop your new beginnings here. But you're still going to have these new beginnings. And they're going to have to accept that. They could not stop you from moving forward, okay? Balance, again, balance here. Balance is being brought here. Reclaim your energy. So, they was definitely trying to cipher your energy, all right? They definitely was trying to call, use your energy of some sort. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting manipulation spells, Okay? They were trying to see into your destiny right here. They were trying to see into your destiny. And they seen that you have multiple abundance, multiple. They, they try to look into your life. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six to seven of your lifetimes and see that you're a divine being, that you're an angelic being here. And that you hold Kali Ma energy within you. Okay? But... Balance is being brought here about this. These people trying to deceive you, trying to...
caused you to be in this low vibration and trying to trap you into this spider energy. You know what I'm saying? It could be these lovers here. Like I said, it could be this privileged woman and this main male is the ones that's the lovers that's trying to cause you bad health. Okay? Or maybe they're in bad health here. Somebody's in bad health with the portal keepers here, but maybe somebody's about to transform. <laughs> Period. I, every time I see certain cars together, I, I see life force. Oh, yeah. Thank you, spirit. Life force energy here. Somebody trying to dead you. Somebody trying to cause you bad health so you can go to the portal, portal keeper. So you can transform. Because those cars, certain cars that come together for me and my decks call out what I know it is. They are strong. So somebody definitely trying to do this to you, but balance is being brought, you know, balance is being take place here. It's these lovers. So it's this privileged lady and this main male trying to cause the high priestess these troubles here. Something about money, her fortune. Something about a fortune. You're about to get a fortune though. You got mature man here. So somebody's involved here with making a decision, spirit is saying. They're going to end up in poverty for this. They wanted you in poverty. That's why they did what they did. Maybe they went to a high priestess to try to stop your new beginnings, try to stop this, try to... I don't know. But, you know, it's always a lot of this fucking energy. Fuck energy out here. So... We got Issa, ice, clarity, stasis, challenges, introspective, watching and waiting. So something is about to happen this winter. Maybe you're going to gain this door to value. You're going to have new beginnings here, okay? You're about to travel here soon. Radi, Radu, Wagon. Okay. Y'all hearing it snowing. My daughter don't fell asleep over there on the couch. Um, now these here need, okay, conflict. Yeah, these people, these lovers try to cause you some conflict. Change here. Maybe you're about to travel. Or somebody's traveling to you. Or maybe these two lovers, okay, these two lovers can be on the run because they got some officials out to them. I told, oh, they finna go to jail. That's probably why they run. Didn't I say, didn't I say something in the beginning about somebody taking off trying to run or something? Y'all got death. I can't make this shit up. <laughs> somebody want the high priestess or went to a high priestess. To take your life force energy to cause you bad health. They wanted you trapped. That's what the exiled is. You see this? This card to me a lot of times means transformation. You see that that butterfly leaving, that soul leaving, transforming, all of this validated. Yeah, it's okay. So it's this privilege, this privileged lady and this main male. Is this a, a um? A married couple or a mother and a son. It's something like that. Or um, a, a, a woman and a side nigga or something. I don't know. Side dude. It's whatever it is. These people want you to. <laughs> For real. I can't make this stuff like these cars to tell what it is. But something going to happen this winter. Maybe one of them going to pass away from fucking with you. <laughs> I don't know why people think they're just going to get away with this stuff right here. They'll be killing me. Once again, we got balance here. They're still trying to cause conflict. All right. Stories. Hmm. Somebody going to you know. We got destiny here again. They want to stop your destiny. They want inheritance. They want to stop your destiny. They want to dead you because they don't want you to gain this fucking inheritance. You got health again. They was trying to cause you bad health. We got partnership. These two, these two lovers, these two lovers right here, this privileged woman and this main male was trying to cause you bad health. 
to keep you from getting this fucking fortune, yo. It's right here in the fucking cards. These two fuckers. These two partners right here. These two partners. <laughs> Whoever this privileged lady in this main meal is, okay? Went to a high priestess, okay? Even though you the high priest, my nose itching, yep. Went to a high priestess. They don't want you to have this fortune. They don't want you to have... Somebody know you got some money coming in, yo. Somebody know you got an inheritance coming to you. Somebody know you got some wealth coming, honey. That you got some possessions. That your ancestors or somebody that's deceased left you something. And that was... Listen, they know you got this fortune coming. They know it. They know you got this fortune coming. This couple right here know you got this fortune coming because something about, okay, so the courthouse already done ruled this. And the officials is involved. Didn't I say last night in the middle of the night I had heard sirens? These people already could be on the run because the police is looking for them. And all they on the they on the run, they still trying to dead you. Mm, 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 mm. But you have your guardians here regardless. Like I say, trust that you're innocent in all this. And whatever these lovers try to do here, these lovers, this privileged woman and this main male. Okay? These partners try to do here. I'm getting partners in crime. Bunny and Clyde. On the run. In the sun. They try to be clever and get away with this. Stealing your abundance. Still, here we go. Your fortune. They knew you had this coming. They knew you had this fortune and this inheritance coming. And they tried to deceive. Oh, they tried to deceive a community. Maybe they tried to deceive the law. Maybe they tried to deceive a group of people. Maybe they tried to deceive your your family, your friends, your loved ones. Maybe they try to deceive the courts. Okay? Maybe it was a group of people that was trying to deceive you. They wanted you in anxiety, but it, it didn't work. They're going to have... They, they got... They, they now in radical acceptance. So they're going to have to have radical acceptance that you're going to gain this... You're going to get this door to value. They know you're going to have this new beginning. Maybe that's why they on the run. But they ain't going nowhere because I heard, woof, woof, this is the sound of the police last night. Okay. Keep her secrets. They secrets. They trying to keep this shit a secret. But the cat, cougar here, the cat is out the bag. <laughs> the cat is out the motherfucking bag. Assertive. Okay. In silence, you find power. Claim your leadership. When you get this money, you keep it to your motherfucking self. When you get this daughter value, don't you tell nobody. Don't tell a mother flipping soul. Because it's coming to you. I told you these secrets is going to come out right here. All right? You know what I'm saying? Your destiny, your divine purpose, is your destiny is going to set forth. Okay, this money and this inheritance is destined to you. That's why whatever they try to do, this this with the go to go to this. That's why the spirit in reverse because they try to go to this high priestess right here. And and spirit say, no bitches, we're not gonna let even the high priestess somebody that's experienced. We're not even gonna let somebody that's experienced in the arts take this divine being out. No. This divine being is going to have new beginnings. Spirit is not allowing even this motherfucker to know what they're doing to do anything to this person because this person is innocent. Let me tell you something. When these people to start, I don't care how experienced they are. Look at me. And they know this too. When you are truly innocent on the accusations 
or the reason why they sought out to put a spell, a hex, a curse, or anything magic on you. If you are innocent, and it says it here twice, twice that you're innocent. Okay, let's find the other innocence because I got to clarify this. You know what I'm saying? Let's find this other innocent because it says it twice that you're innocent, baby. Innocent here. You see it? You're innocent. So I don't care what magic they do to try to do anything to you. What does it cause you to fart the wrong way, a chew sneeze, a booger at your fucking nose, whether they try to kill you, whether they try to cause you to have any type of motherfucking tower moments. At the end of the day, if you're innocent, the energy spirit would not allow it and move forward on allowing this spell or this spell work to take place. I don't care how experienced they are. I don't care how many loops. At the end of the day, God source creative rules and created the underworld too. Let's not forget that. He just allowed people to run that essence. But they still have to answer to source before anything is set the fuck out. So trust and believe that whatever they done is not working. It ain't going to work because you have you have a divine purpose, a divine de destiny. And no matter what type of shit they trying to do to do death spells and cause you bad health or whatever, call your energy back still. But no matter what set up, baby, it's not going to fold over. If anything, it's going to plunder, plunder. All right? These people want you in poverty, and they're going to end up in poverty. Singer here. We got a singer here. Maybe you like to sing here. Maybe you are a singer. Okay. Let's go over here into the uh, soul, because I got a lot of these, too. These cards are here everywhere. Okay, we got adjacent possibilities upright and contracts in reverse. They was trying to do contracts on your possibilities. My nose itching, trying to do spell work. I told you, no matter what they do, it's not going to work, is it? Scope, future, okay? They didn't want this opportunity to happen for you. They, didn't, they did all, everything they could to close the doors to you getting this, this inheritance or this, this uh, fortune. This, this abundance, okay? We got the Eight of Cups up right here, okay? Once again, they go to anxiety, despair, you know, okay? We got the Three of Cups here upright. We got the Seven of Cups in reverse. We got the Three of Pentacles up right here. We got the Prince of Swords up right here. We got the Seven of Wands in reverse, and we got the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. We got a lot of water energy up here, right here, right here in this in, in, in this essence. We got liberation here, upright. That means powerful fulfillment, self-attainment. We got illumination, expressions, positivity, and joy, inspiration. We got wisdom, psychic intuition, and truth. We have unique gifts and transformation. Boy, I tell you. And of course, we have... These beautiful Spirit of Animals cards I'm going to bring forward in just a minute here. I'm telling you, yo. That was trying to really stop your future from moving forward on everything. Whatever is owed to you, whatever you was creating, whatever you was working on with the seven, you've been working hard here. You've been working hard on a lot of things for these possibilities to open up for you in the future. Okay? And they're going to. They're going to. Um, when, when things come to you, because you got a lot of unique gifts here, okay? You got a lot of unique things that you're good at. Um, 
when these things come to you, make sure you read the contract, read the small print, get you a lawyer involved. <laughs> Don't just sign the dotted line I'm getting. You know what I'm saying? Um, but a lot of people want to do all in your head about this. They didn't want they didn't want these things to happen for you moving forward, okay? Three of Pentacles here, okay? <clears throat> Once again, give me a second. Y'all really drained from the earlier read that I'm trying to bring this forward, okay? So bear with you, girl. I ain't my lively self tonight. I'm just tired. Like I said, I've been doing hair today and everything else. I'm tired. Okay, connect with the energy and share a celebration. Raise your vibration with others. Enjoy your move moment with friends and satisfying community. So, you will be celebrating, you know, from in the near future about these, you know, new beginnings for you. Because, like I say, new beginnings is coming. Despite what people are trying to do to close this off for you, um, this privileged man, this privileged woman, and this main man, despite whatever they was doing. You're going to be celebrating from whatever you've been working on, okay? You're going to be celebrating. No, that's not. I'm going to tell the wrong one anyway. You are. But that's one of the cards. But that's what I want to look at right here. So you could be co collaborating with other people. You know what I'm saying? Got heightened creativity, the passion, share aliveness, and the flow of doing something well. You're very good at what you do here. You're very good. Your unique gifts is what's going to bring these opportunities to you. Okay? Um, don't doubt what... Don't doubt with the Seven of Cups in revert right here. Reverse. Don't, don't doubt your creativity. Don't doubt who you, who you are. Don't be all in your head about are you good enough and try to box yourself in. Don't try to shut yourself out. Don't 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 be all in anxiety either. Like make sure, you know what I'm saying, you're you're not letting other people cloud your judgment. Don't be juggling yourself too much. Like I say, make sure you do read the contracts if they come forward, because contracts is involved here. So somebody could possibly be coming to you with the contract, but the contract is in reverse. So let me let me let me let me look at that too, y'all. Which number is that? Six here. The contract card reverse indicates that the end of a previous connection or whether a future commitment is concerned, it could bring warning of delay or perhaps even possible disappointment. So somebody could be trying to slow down your opportunities too, right? Somebody very will. Well, could be trying to stop your... Like I said in the beginning, though, somebody was trying to dead these opportunities for you. But I'm thinking that it's not going to work because you got celebration here, okay? And you got the seven of wands in reverse. So whatever attacks that was directed towards you to try to stop these uh, possibilities moving forward for you in the future, the future card is up right here. So it's saying that these possibilities are definitely coming forth from everything that you've been working hard because you're very creative here. You're going to be celebrating, okay? Um, you're going to be collaborating with other people here. Whoever it, this really is trying to stop this stuff with this contract in reverse is this Prince of Swords here, all right? Somebody that's wounded, somebody that, you know, don't love themselves, somebody that, you know, got a lot of inflictions. Okay, hold on. What did this say right here? No energy. Yep. Somebody is the walking dead. This person ain't got no energy. And they don't want you to have any. Okay? Let's see what else. It's like writings in this body, and I've never noticed it. Y'all, I gotta see what the hell this say. I ain't gonna be right till I do. Let me see. Maybe other glasses might help me see. You know they give me a headache. That might actually let me see what I want to see for a minute. I ain't gonna have my own long, Lord. All right, y'all. I got some little strong ones here, but I don't like these. They might hear me hurt. But I got to see what I'm looking at. Okay, let's see, y'all. Okay. I can't even see in these. This shit's so little. Y'all, you know what? 
this person is damn near they can't see the light within themselves they can't they can't see the light within you they're a walking time bomb this person got so many wounds and habits and whatever this prince of swords could be an ex-lover or some shit like that okay um Whoever they is, they all tied up in their own shit and need to be stopped worrying about yours while they trying to swore with you. They the one that don't want to see you moving forward because they can't move forward within their self. But baby, it don't matter. You too powerful. You too unique. They the one that's in this eight of cups. They all in their head too. Because they're like, they done trying everything. <laughs> Look, what card is that? That they, they little seven of ones. It ain't work. They, they little bullshit-ass magic. You know what I'm saying? They can't celebrate your downfall. You're going to be celebrating, collaborating with other people, and all these possibilities still going to come because this motherfucker right here is definitely all in his head because they was like, or her head, she was like, I did everything. I tried to do everything to this person to stop them, and they still going to succeed. Oh, my. Oh, me. me, me. It, and this person very well might transform. Transformation here. They also try to cause you to transform, but maybe this death card and all this bad health is this person that did all this stuff, okay? They try to put you in bad health. Maybe they the ones that's really gonna they the ones that's really gonna pass away. But your occupation here, you're about to have sudden wealth from your occupation. Okay? You're an inspiration here, you're inspirational and, and zoos. You like to speak a lot you communicate a lot lie a lot a lot of people understand you they relate to you you know what i'm saying they like that you inspire them you're a very positive person you're very into intuitive you speak the truth when you speak when you when you tap into your psychic abilities you're the real deal holy field you're very wise you use your wisdom okay um it's a lot of positivity like i said you're inspirational here you are full of inspiration you're full of joy you make a lot of people happy you inspire a lot of people with your energy you liberate a lot of people and you will be liberated and you will gain sudden wealth from your occupation and that's what this person in the seven of swords energy and that's what this privileged this privileged lady with her back fat ass cougar ass bitch okay and this main male with his limp diggly neck, that with his his uh private part issues that he on whatever, them two, them two lovers that's with each other, like each other, that's been trying to stop you, baby. They can't. You still gonna get get your southern left well, and they gonna go to jail. They going to jail. This could be a married couple here. Let's go over here. Let's finish in this. Grace here. We got dog here. This could be a friend of yours. Maybe this. This lover got kids by this privileged lady or some stuff. Uh, Maybe he he or she's a dog. I don't know. Or uh, a so-called friend. You know what I'm saying? That's about to transform here. All right? Somebody's in love with you. Somebody want to be with you, I'm getting. Somebody that's inspired by you is looking at you to courtship with, to be with them. Somebody's been watching your transformation, too, as you have been evolving and growing and tapping into your unique gifts. Okay, this could be, like I said, a jealous friend here. You're full of greatness. You have protection. So whatever these people supposed to do or trying to do is not going to happen. You're a messenger. You reveal the truth. Like I said, you psychic. You're a truth speaker. So when you tap into your intuition and your abilities, it's the real deal. Okay, you have a lot of love. You can tap into the supernatural. You work with your ancestors, the underworld, the the, the higher beings. Oh, you can tap into anything, baby, because it's all connected to the source creator. So whatever you need to use to bring things forward, I'm giving even the darkest energies that you need to bring forward and expose because you speak truth. That's what you do. You tap in just like that. Kudos to you. So what? What they going to do about it? Not shit. Mm-mm. Because source... Source support you 100% because your heart is pure. Despite what you call for, your heart is pure, baby. Envy. You got a lot of people that envy you because you speak your truth. They don't want you to speak your truth here. You will gain your concopia. 
And a lot of people don't want that, don't like that. Secrets here, upright with Nyx, Parvati, devotion here, pair of fairs from an experience here, white buffalo calf woman, um, reverence here. We got Mama Killer the Moon here, and we got Gaia Earth here. <sighs> they both in reverse. Okay. So this 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 mama could be an earth sign, or maybe it's the earth sign and this mother. Uh, maybe it's the privileged woman. I, 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 these two right here, boy, these stank ass lovers. <laughs> oh, that's been trying to do this magic on you. <laughs> that little secret's gonna come out, man. They look, they, they've been devoted to working together. But you got your native ancestors here supporting you. So, you know what I'm saying? They feel like, you know, you inexperienced. That you don't deserve nothing that's about to come to you. Like, bitches, who are you two to be saying that anybody deserve anything because you motherfucking over goddamn... <laughs> I don't even want to say it. But you got the moon in reverse here again. They little magic ain't going to work. They are going to injustice. Okay? They want justice for whatever they think they conjuring up. Like I say, spirit ain't supporting them. They are very unjust. Justice will be... They're not getting justice for this magic. You see this? They thinking that, they, that you deserve to have magic done on you because they feel like you've done something to them. But like I say, baby, you've been innocent in all of this. So whatever people think you done did to hurt them, it's been all a lie. It's they hurt asses. You ain't did nothing to hurt them. You just done spoke your truth and kept it real. And both of these motherfuckers know you got a lot of secrets on them and you know about that little secret-ass love affair or whatever going on with them. And they know you can expose their sick shit and they want to take you the fuck out. They want to destroy you. But... It don't matter because their little moon magic, everything they doing, that they envy you. Like I said, they envy you because you call them out. You speak the truth. You know what's really going on. You know what they really is. You know that they some sick lovers. <clears throat> but somebody finna die in the morning anyway. One of these bitches finna get ghosts. Tick. Top, tick, top, tick. Yeah, just like that. Mm-hmm. Because some introspection about to take place. Boy, these people are going to stop playing because they think they, ooh, somebody going to be real sad when these bitches got them died. Then what? Huh? When the secret love are gone, then what you gonna feel like? You're gonna have an emotion of freedom here. Separation here. Divinity. You're gonna have divinity and you're gonna have unity with those you're meant to unite with. And you're gonna separate from those who you're meant to separate from. Okay? You're gonna continue to tap into the unknown. You have limitless possibilities here. All right? Somebody is about to surrender. Somebody is about to. Somebody is about to do some shit here because. I'm getting you gonna have to surrender to the situation you win. Okay. Something about this wealthy man here. Maybe like I said, somebody was been seeking you out and inspired inspired by you. So that's who about to come to you with an offer. The occupation with the toy and labor here. That's who about to come to you with an offer to do with the work. This wealthy man. The sound in the universe. You're about to be awakened to something here. You're connected to the divine. This air sign about to get the fuck on. This air sign about to go. This who about to go. Because this person right here been doing too much fuck magic. Them and they funky ass lover. This person is about to fucking transform this winter. Ain't going to see past it. Facts. Just wait and watch home. Mm-hmm. Starseer. Yep. 
You got horse here. Trust the change. Trust that everything is going to be all right. Um, trust that in time, you know, be patient that the things that need to happen for you as far as all these possibilities and things are going to happen. You could be getting married to this wealthy man in the near future. Who knows? But you got marriage here. You got marriage here. You know what I'm saying? And you got your concopia coming. No matter how much magic these people try to do, the very set shit that was sent out for you was going to become theirs. This privileged, this privileged lady and this main male. They in on it together. I'm getting sleeping with the enemy. So, you know, just... Even though you're very intuitive and you know what you know, like I said, when people be trying to tell you to back up off your ability, to back up off, you know, doing this too much, your cards and your, your spirituality and stuff, that's because you get, you, they in hot water. You get, you got to dig on them. They got to jig on them. You starting to spook them the fuck out. You know so much. So, and they'll never tell you that you won't be telling the fucking truth because then they lying. Okay? So... No matter what people doing to try to block you, hold you back, prevent you from being great, you know, um, there's some sick people out here, you know, that, that at the end of the day, they don't love themselves. It's, it's just what it is. And we have to accept in these times that that's what it is. That's what you can't change these people. Some of these people ain't going to change. That's why they about to transform. They, somebody's about to, I've been getting this for the last two months and winter is literally just about to hit. It's going to be a lot of people leaving. It's going to be a lot of people passing away. And it's, it's, I pick up on this energy even from my own reading about somebody passing away in the winter. So I know this got to hit close to home in my, one of my situations. You know what I'm saying? Not saying this is mine at all, but at the same time, you know what I'm saying? Somebody's definitely close to you. If this you and you resonate with this energy that's about to transform from doing all this magic and this negative energy on you. Because it's always showing up in my readings. Like, I can't make magic pop up unless it come out. I always cleanse my cards really good. I always meditate. I always make sure I clear and what cards come out is what they come out. That's what they are. That's what they represent. That's what they stand for when you put them all together. Certain cards that go together is what the hell it is. Some shit just speak for itself, okay? So, you know, it's just a lot of this going around. And I happen to pull on this energy a lot. Maybe I'm meant to expose a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? And I'm here for it. I ain't going to hold back for nobody. I don't care who don't like that I speak my truth that I'm tapped in. And if anybody want me gone, because I know the truth about their asses, good luck with that. Because good luck is on my side. And I don't even believe in luck. I just know I'm divine. So, And I know I'm innocent too. So whatever people try to do to the innocent, beautiful dimes of light, it ain't going to motherfucking work. So let them keep trying. And you just keep smiling and saying, <laughs> I'ma tell it like it is. You know what I'm saying? And when she'll wipe on them motherfuckers. Just... <laughs> Cause they gonna be crying in tears and be like, you think they may have you in tears crying. Just wait a minute. Somebody gonna be really crying when one of these motherfuckers got down drop the fuck off. Mm-hmm. But until next time, beautiful dimes of light. Bye now.